Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Uh, when last we left off. I hate this guard duty assignment. I hate everything right now. Aww. Nothing to do about it. We each stand duty in our own ways. At least your wife and the kids went on that trip you mentioned a while back. Where was it again? They canceled the trip. Donated the funds to some charity when Earth was hit. And then... Aww. Oh. Sorry. Poor guys. Anyway, when last we left off, we had talked to Aria, and yeah. Just going to see if there's anything else happening. I don't suppose there is. Uh, where was where was I intended on going again? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, we have the Cerberus Lab. Um. Uh, Oh, we actually have. Bum, 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 bum. Oh right, we were supposed to help her unite all the things and take back Omega. Um, uh, power grid, to keep running. Searching for things, searching for things. Um. So this is good, Porthian artifact. So I th think we probably should go s back to Normandy and that kind of thing. Uh, I just want to explore a little bit. No, no, no. I'm telling you, I saw the look in his eye before he started off across that street. It was like, come and get me, death. You piece of shit. But you're not getting anyone else. Exactly. You're not getting anyone else. Drunk guys. Um, I just want to go and see if anyone else has you guys anything have a to say. Where's the dancers? I want dancers. Well, the dance floor's over there. Not dancers, dumbass. Dancers. I'm here for shore leave, not the Viennese wall. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't um... Oh come on! If there's an ass shaking somewhere on this station, you guys know where it is. <laughs> oh, surely we do. Um, I just want to go around because I like all these ambient uh, things that you can run across. So much d detail in everything. I don't suppose I. Oh, hello. Oh, that's quite a nice split. I can actually. I can. Oh, do no, do I said last time that I don't want to dance, but do I? Okay, let's see your awkward shuffle. Okay, it's not quite as awkward this time. Oh, okay, it is awkward. Jeez. Okay, no, nope, not doing that again. Nope. Can I? I can actually. Eh, why not? I'm a bit of a drunkard. I got drunk on Omega last time. So why not? I wonder if you actually can get drunk in this game as well. If I keep doing this, will I get drunk? Possibly. Nice with the dancing bartender, I suppose. <laughs> How many more angles can you actually get on? Oh, your arm is right through that keyboard. I know it's a holo keyboard, but still. Yeah. This is familiar. <laughs> Hello, Aria. <laughs> you look not on none too pleased. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's awesome. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go. Uh, I was actually thinking I was going towards the uh, elevator when I went this way, but obviously I was standing right next to it. So, um, oops. It even says elevator. That's kind of silly. Uh, um, Commander Shepard, please select a destination. Um. 
let's check out the commons, I suppose. There should be more people around there, I think. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. What's the best way to start let's see if we can find any interesting people. Well, I will support her. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, uh, thanks. Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? <laughs> it's good advice. Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. <laughs> well, that turned out all right. guys. I wonder if I can get that back somehow. That would be brilliant because we need all the help we can get. Um, increases damage by 7.50%. Peace perception. Better with central auto targets and stuff here just to put useful some breath rate. That's pretty nice. Um, oh, I like that. I love that. At Canala Exports, we um, believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Oh, a koi fish. I probably will forget to exports, feed them again. A peaceful heart is a strong heart. Um Oh wow. The blood dragon armor has made a return. That's pretty nice. Power recharge, power damage, shields. That's kind of cool. But let's do we. No, I don't At use Canola those. We Weapon stability is kind of nice though. Um, we your visit. There we go. Oh, Barlavon! Hi, guy! Let's see, what do you have then? Um, yes! Yes! I really don't need it, but I want it. Gimme. Don't I already... Oh, pistol material. Cerberus armor? No, thank you. Crisis damage? Shredded mod. Let's wait for that a little bit. I don't think there's anything else up here. And I'm totally gonna regret buying that, but my fish I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vids, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Aww. Then you need to tell him. Aww. Well, it's always better to be honest. That's for sure. If we switch from financial VIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help, Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walk Fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. OK, 
Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. That's good. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. <laughs> a small fortune. We're selling at a cost plus three percent. Fine. Well, that's better than. And you stop talking when I get there. Okay, fair enough. You are such a douche, though. I see what you mean, but you're such a douche. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything but this. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her, but I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. It's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. Aww. Poor thing. So many things to listen to. This is awesome. I really like it. I'm sorry if this is really boring for you guys, but... This is in very interesting for me. So I'm just running around. This place is huge now. I didn't realize you could explore this much of it. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. We should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. We uh, should be socializing with I'm actually with the guy there. Even if it's. Even in wartime, it's, I don't know. I'm not a good person with kids. Edie, what are you doing here? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. <laughs> Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. <laughs> I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. <laughs> How do you know when someone... <laughs> um, yeah? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. <laughs> That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a few <laughs> chemicals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. <laughs> no. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Um, I'm not sure that will work. Edie. Have you considered that maybe if you need this much help, you're in over your head? <laughs> then you think I am unable to enter into a romantic relationship with him. I'm saying you weren't designed for every possibility. I see. You are probably correct. There is little precedent that humans and synthetics can maintain relationships as equals. I will no longer devote processing power to exploring the possibility. Thank you, Shepard. Aw, that's not what I wanted. But still... I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. 
The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. Hmm. Welcome to Casa Uh oh, whoa. Connection. Shotgun. Spare shotgun. Capacity is useful for sniper rifles, but. Um, I'm just going to be silly and buy silly stuff. Uh, let's do that. Because I kind of prefer that. Hey, Joker. Are you thinking the same thing? Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And oh yeah, a big ass Reaper invasion. <laughs> <laughs> These people have no idea. I'm a scared. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. Yeah, it's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. <laughs> It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. <laughs> Finally getting some peace out of those disability benefits. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Aww. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. You are into her. It's kind of nice, though. <laughs> Aww, that's nice. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh. Uh, uh, my husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. <laughs> anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. Oh. Welcome to Nosostra's Sporting Goods. Well, I'm on a thing. Let's see. Um, selections include rare technology upgrades from the terminus system. Collector armor. Some vehicle system. Some G things. Well, considering <laughs> I'm just buying crap right now, but this kind of just Working in a store, I understand the dilemma, but look, he is not gonna leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I've sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes. Congratulations. The whole fifteen credits. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks. <laughs> well, considering I do work in a store and I see the problem, but uh, sometimes, sometimes. Um, oh, I should have had that. Oh, false. I should have had that. False. Okay. Uh, at least I know where they are now, so I can go back when I need get more money hopefully I'm not sure if those things will change but hey seasick 
don't suppose I can be getting get in there. No, no, I can't. Um, anything more? We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be in peril if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. Aww. Poor thing. I do like that you s figure out things and pick up on things while you're walking around. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's on the other side, isn't it? I forgot I was going to check the... Uh, um Oh! Liara? The hell? Liara? Oh, come on! How could I miss that? Let's see. Supposed to. That's not the right Asari. That's not the right Asari either. That's definitely not the right Asari. <gasps> there you are! I didn't even see you! Hey, Liara! Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Well, that is good thinking. Practical. I like it. You can get started by talking to the Volus Barlavon in his office. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. All right. Um, he was upstairs, wasn't he? Let's see. Um. Yeah, he was by the bank. So let's go talk to Balavon while we're at it. Do 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 do. Oh, and that's qu quick travel. Don't want to do that. No, <coughs> sorry. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor mm -hmm. and an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. I remember you. He used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. Mm -hmm. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper controlled territory. Rescue the guards. And they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I know. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. You could say that. Okay, so, um. Let's see. I was going up there because Gnarl. I'm not sure who Gnarl is because I don't re recognize the name. Whoever it is is up here. So, I'm going to check it out. I'm just gonna see. There's nowhere else I can go? No, there isn't. Quick! Hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Aria brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Oh, right. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. For now. Right here. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. 
Daria to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard, want you to know, your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Well, that's all right then, I suppose. So that was who Narl was. I didn't even rem remember that it was on the Citadel. Either way, it worked out. Um, and now I have the blood pack on my side. That's pretty nice. Uh, da -da -da -da. Considering we need all the people we can get. Let's see. I don't think... Should I... Can... Liara... Find out more things for us? Is that why she lights up like that? Let's see. Sorry, dude. Coming through. Hello, Shepard. Okay. Guess not. Um. Okay. Let's go to the elevator. Check this out. Uh, because now we've been. To Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. <coughs> Purgatory. One moment. Let's check the embassies. So, like, just in case. I'm not sure if there's anything there or anything, but. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Do, do, do. Um, this is probably just going to be me walking around, kind of thing. Okay. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Aw, oh, poor guy. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. Well, I kind of remember how that is. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Oh, poor thing. That's kind of shit. Please tell the primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. Hmm. Interesting. That's really interesting. Um, more Prothean things? That's always... Ba-ba-ba-bee-bee-bee-bee-bee. 
I see. Oh, this guy late. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> side. Oh, oh well. Um, I guess there's not a whole lot. Who are you? Commander Shepard, John Dumbal, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift. But I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. <laughs> Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost salarial. <laughs> I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? <laughs> the Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Aww. That's nice of you.